Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. So let us continue the journey to learn graphical user interface using Sphinx toolkit in Java programming language. In today's session, we will learn how to create J text field. So let us recap what we have done in our previous video sessions. In previous video sessions, we have created or we learned how to create a frame, how to create labels on the frame. So this is the code I am using that we have done in our previous classes. So I have created a class login form that is extending a J frame. We are just setting the attribute of your frame. So here, this is the frame attributes. We are creating two labels on it. The first one is the username. The second one is the password. And we have already set the custom locations of your username and password labels. Or inside the frame, we have set the layout as null. Or after this, at the end, we are making frame as visible. And inside the main class, you are just calling this login form constructor in order to start the application. So let me just run this program and you will see what is the output of it. So here we go. You can see your frame title is my frame. It has two different labels, the username, password. So this part we have done in previous video sessions. Guys, if you have not watched previous video sessions, so please watch it first. Then only you will be able to understand today's session. So how to create the, how to create J text field, let us understand. So in order to create J text field, you will use the J text field class. So I will write a create, create J text field, right? So how will you create? You will simply use J text field class, which is present inside Java X dot swings package. J text field, that is, I can write JT1 is equal new J text field, right? So it will create a J text field. You can set the location and size of it. So I will write JT1 dot set bounds x and y position you can set the x position is 150 for example the y position is 50 width you can provide like 150 and the height is 30 so after creating this j text field what will you do you will just add this component on the frame so i will write add jt1 and let us run this and you will see what is the output of it So here we go, you can see this J text field is added or you can add or you can write your name like Amit. Okay, so this is a text field which help us to enter the text, right? So let me just close it. In the similar way, you can create one more text field. So I'm just copying it and pasting in order to save the time. So next text field I can create like jt2 is equal new text field jt2 dot set bound or you will add jt2 right or you can little bit change the location so here the x is the same 150 the y location you can change right 100 and the rest will be the same let us run it and you will see what is the output of it so here you can see the password you can enter your password you can enter your username for example, your username is Amit and the password is Amit123. So you can see here the password you can see, right? So this text field will not hide and will not replace your character with your secret characters, right? So I will close it. So how will you create the text field or a text field that can store your password or that will not be visible outside world. So in order to create that text field, you will use the different class. You will use the J password field, right? You will use the J password field. JT2 is equal new. You will use J password field, right? So you will use this class. This class is again present inside JavaX.Swings package, all component of the swings are present inside Java X dot swing package. Let us save it and you will see what is the output of it. So you can see your username is Amit and your password is 
Amit one two three. So no one can see your password. So guys, this is the way how can you just create a text field and a J password field using Sphinx component. In the next session, I will show you how to create the button like a submit button or login button or reset button. So this is all about for today's session. So I have added a list of methods on J code book. Right, so you can explore the methods of J text field and J password field, right? And you can apply these methods in order to change the size of it, in order to change the location of it, in order to you know perform or in order to set the background or foreground color of your text field. We have multiple methods and the multiple constructor in order to perform different different operations on your text field. So this is about your text field and your J password field. So I hope guys you understand this and you enjoyed this journey. So if you like this video, please click on the like button, subscribe the channel and please do not forget to provide the feedback in the comment section. Thank you guys. Bye bye for now. I hope you understand it. Have a good day. Good night.